Hey, it's Ruben in the shop bringing you that update video on that sports card uh, collection I bought. Um, my name's Ruben. I'm a reseller. A few months ago, gosh, maybe six to eight months ago now, um, I found a collection of baseball, football, and basketball cards. Um, there's a video about it. I'll post that in a link below. Um, check that out. It was a crazy collection of cards. Um, if you're not aware, in the last year, really the last about six to four months, the uh, sports card market has blown up. This is also true for Pokemon cards and uh, Magic the Gathering cards. So if you have collections like that, it's time to dig them out and see if you can make some money. So um, I found this awesome collection. A lot of it was in great condition. So I decided to take the leap and go ahead and submit, uh, make a submission to PSA. PSA is a uh, professional sports card grader. It's the top of the mark, I believe, as far as graders go. It does take a little bit longer, costs a little bit more to use PSA, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Um, if you uh, want to submit to PSA, there are better videos online, more professional videos that can teach you how to do it. That's how I learned how to do it. Um, so what I just wanted to show you guys is what I'm sending out. I'm sure there'll be a lot of comments on, oh, that's great. And some people say, oh, why are you sending that out? Um, in my last video, I got a lot of, uh, negative feedback. People saying that I ripped people, I ripped the, that family off. I don't even think it was a family. I think it was a case where those cards were abandoned. Um, cause it looked like they were just cleaning out the whole garage just to get it empty. So it's regardless, people are gonna have their own feelings about things. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through with this. So what happened is I had all these old baseball, basketball, and football cards. When I was a kid, I collected cards. So I went through my old collection. Unfortunately, about 12 years ago, 90% of my collection was stolen out of my dad's uh, garage. Um, I did have some of my better stuff that I kept with me. Um, that included some, uh, Kobe Bryant rookies, Tim Duncan rookies, uh, some cool Michael Jordan inserts. We'll see all of those. I decided I'm gonna send those out to be graded as well. Um, and hopefully I'm not too late on the market. Like anything else, prices go up, prices go down. Um, so I'm not expecting to get these back till the end of the year. It's uh, end of February now. So fingers crossed before Christmas. Um, I am going to do three different shipments out to PSA because there's different pricing. So if you have a lot of cards that you're going to submit, you're going to want to get a PSA membership. They have gold, platinum, and silver. I believe the gold and platinum uh, subscriptions are sold out. I think they still have silvers. It costs 60 bucks a year. Um, that gets you uh, some magazine they keep on sending me in the mail once a month. And also... Um, gets you bulk rate discounts. So any cards from 1971 and earlier with the bulk discount, uh, you can get, get them graded for $10 a piece. Uh, 72 to 2017 is $12 a piece. That is for a maximum value card of $199.99 um, or $199. And uh, the way that works is if the card is actually worth more, you actually have to pay more. So uh, a general submission is $50, and that's for a card up to $1,000. I've heard that there is some leeway there. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna send out three um, lots. The first one is gonna be the pre-71 uh, and earlier cards. Um, some of those, if they were graded high, like a nine or 10, which mine won't be, uh, they'd be six-figure cards. Um, others, uh, well, maybe not six figures, but at least five figures. Um, I'm expecting a lot of that stuff to be graded around two or three, so I still think it's worth hundreds of dollars, just not quite thousands of dollars. We'll see how that goes if they send me an uh, invoice for any extra, which is going to be fine by me because I'd rather pay a little bit extra uh, up front and hopefully get a bigger return. Uh, so we have those cards. Uh, I have about 45 of those cards. I have about 120, 103 um, cards from 1972 all the way through 2017. Uh, those again are gonna be have a cap of 199 as high value. Again, markets change, so that price might be up by the time I get them back, we will see. And then I have the final lot, which is about 23 cards. 
Um, I did the research on PSA. Their website has a price guide, has auction results. Um, I think it even link you to cards available for sale right now. Um, those cards, uh, 23 of them, I have valued them. They're over 200 for sure. Some of them are touching near a thousand. So I'm going to go ahead and pay the 50 bucks a card. I'm hoping I get those cards back. There's a quicker turnaround on those. I went into a card shop recently, kind of picked the brain of the guy behind the counter. He was saying he thinks that the stuff that I pay 50 bucks a piece for, uh, should be returned in about six to eight weeks. Who knows? Um, that would be great. I would love to start getting my money back. Uh, all told, it's going to cost me about $3,000. Yes, $3,000 uh, to get these cards graded. It is an investment. Um, being that I do this, I sell old things uh, for a living. It is my business, so I figured it's a tax write-off. Going to go for it. Uh, worst case scenario, I have 160-some cards that are graded. I got to believe I can get $20 a card. We're talking Mantle, Maze, Aaron. Come on. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through. I'm going to show you the cards that I'm sending out. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. Um, if you have an eye on a card, it's going to go get graded. If you want me to hit you up after it gets graded, I can hit you up. Um, I am planning once the cards get back to me to list them all uh, in one day. Probably... Maybe auction, maybe buy it now. Still unsure. We'll figure that out once the cards come back and I know their grades. Um, let's go through the cards and uh, uh, see what's going to PSA. Here are my three groups. So when you uh, do the whole PSA thing, you log all the cards in online. You can do it from your phone. You can do it off your desktop or laptop. And they give you this manifest. And so you'll include this with your submission, or I will. Uh, as you can see, 41 cards there. This is the pre-72 stuff. I did make a mistake here with the minimum grade on this Duke Snyder card. I put a minimum grade of 1. If the card doesn't reach that minimum grade, um, it's an optional feature right there, then they'll just send it back to you. Um, so, unfortunately, I think that one might not even be a 1. Here's the card. This is a post... Um, hand cut card so it was part of the back of a um, cereal box so 1961 duke snyder it might just be an authentic so we'll see this will be our one tester here um we'll see if it gets graded or not again here we have uh, no qualifiers so if you have a card that's in really good condition um but has the but is off centered and by that i mean the card centering see how this carl yastrzemski is a little bit to the left um so that might get a grade, let's say if it was imperfect, it's not. If it was a gem mint card, it might say, or let's say a mint nine, it might say mint nine OC off center. And I've noticed on the prices that really affects it. So you can do no qualifiers. So instead of it being graded like this Willie McCovey, uh, instead of it being graded a nine, it might be graded a seven um, and it won't have the off center indicator. So that's something to consider. So let's go through these cards. Here are the old ones. 1961 Duke Snyder Post. This is great. 1962 Mickey Mantle Post. Um, again, I have that only marked as 199, but really it can be significantly higher. Um, we have this Al K line, which again is probably only going to be an authentic. It has a big crease right there. Harmon Killebrew, 1962 Post. Ed Matthews. Another thing is you need to keep them in the order that you have them on the sheet. Otherwise, they'll charge you a 5% um, surcharge to put them in the correct order. Don Drysdale, 63. Ron Santo, 63 post. Here were the, these cards. They're not great. You can see the rounded corners. But really, I just want them in the PSA slab. I want them graded. Um, even low grades for some of these cards are quite valuable. So we have the Willie McCovey. That's a 61 tops. 61 tops. Willie Mays. 61 tops. All-star Willie Mays. Again, it's in rough shape, but I want them graded. 1962 tops. Um, the AL home run leaders. You got Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle on this card. 
I believe, let's see what their totals ended up being, uh, 61 and 54. So that was the summer when they were going at it for the uh, all-time home run total for a season. Here we have same year, home run leaders. This card isn't as valuable, but again, it had the Willie Mays. When I have all these cards back, I might do all the Willie Mays as a lot. Probably not, but we'll see. Strikeout leaders with Sandy Koufax, Don Drysdale, 62, I believe. Uh, Tops Willie Mays card. This one's decent, but not great. Uh, 64, 1964. Tops card. Nolan Ryan saves the day. I believe this is a 64 card. I'm sorry, this is from 1970. Uh, strikeout leaders. So these 1971 cards, they have the black border, which makes them increasingly hard to have in really nice condition. Condition. These ones I picked out, I thought they were pretty nice. Or, I'm sorry, this one I have, I'll get graded. Uh, these are the 19, uh, what is it? 1970 Top Super Glossy. Um, Joe Namath. These ones are like a little bit thicker cardstock, so they're actually in pretty nice condition. Sonny Jurgensen. OJ Simpson. This one's not in as good a condition. This is his rookie year, though, so that is considered a rookie card. Len Dawson. Len Dawson. And this is the 1970 regular set. Tops. Again, OJ Simpson. That's his rookie card. Um, it has a crease in the center. Does present pretty well. So we'll get it graded. We'll see what's up. Joe Namath, same year. John Unitas. Again, look at the centering on that. It's a little rough, but I kind of just wanted in the case. I figured a Joe Namath. Oh, I'm sorry. A Johnny Unitas in a PSA slab. It's probably going to still be worth 20 bucks, right? Dick Buckkiss. Then we have these postcards. Um, I believe they're 62. Let's look at the sheet. Uh, yeah, 1962. There's some Green Bay Packers here. Dave Hammer. Henry Jordan. Jerry Kramer, definitely a Hall of Famer. And Tom Moore. This Tom Moore card apparently is quite rare. Look at it. It's got a bad cut. <laughs> um, but... Ungraded, it's worth like 200 bucks, or that's what people ask. So we'll see. Authenticated, maybe it doubles the price. Not sure. And then YA Tittle, uh, 62 post. We have these football cards. This year is 1969. So 69 Johnny Unitas. 69 Brian Piccolo rookie. Big crease down the center. This is going to be a one or a two or authentic, but I still want it in the slab. Primarily to go with this card here, the Gale Sayers, 1969. Not his rookie card, but an early card. Got the Don Meredith, same year. Larry Zonka. This is Larry Zonka's rookie card. Um, it's I'm thinking it's going to get graded like a three. Then we have the basketball cards. Uh, these are 1960, 1971 tops. Start with Oscar Robertson. It's in rough, a gray. It's in rough condition, but such a beautiful card. Got the Wilt Chamberlain. It's a great card. Uh, I don't expect it to be graded too high, but Wilt Chamberlain stuff seems to be on the rise. Got a Billy Cunningham, decent shape. Ah! And Dan Issel rookie card. Someone in the previous video said, hey, don't uh, don't count short that Dan Essel rookie card. I hadn't even considered it before. That would be a good one. And then this Wilt Chamberlain tall boy. Um, this one I'm thinking is only going to be graded a one or an authentic because of this mark right here, which is a bummer. It has that pen mark. Um, some of these cards that came in this collection, even some of like the Willie Mays stuff, uh, some of the greater cards were marked on them with pen, which is very detrimental. Um, let's move on to the next lot, but let me talk real quick about these card savers. You have, you're supposed to send them to PSA in the card saver ones, and then you have a penny sleeve inside there. 
Um, I guess there was a time where stock on these card saver ones were like everyone was out of stock. But I was able to find, find them pretty easily. So get the card saver ones uh, for your uh, submissions. Let me get you to, let me set up the next one. Next we have these cards, uh, 72 through 2017. Um, we'll start with the Carl Yastrzemski 1972 Tops card. What's cool is if you have multiples, so I have two here, really sharp corners, off-centered a little bit, but we'll get them graded. When you submit them, as you can see, you just put quantity two. So they don't have to be separated. They'll get graded what they get graded. Got those two. 1972 Carl Yastrzemski in action. Another really nice card. I went through these cards like three or four times, slowly whittling them down, trying to be as uh, accurate as I can with my eye as to the grading. Got the Willie Mays in action. Harmon Killebrew. This is uh, RBI leaders with Harmon Killebrew. Two of them. Home Run Leaders, that has Hank Aaron on it. Hank Aaron recently passed, and his cards have gone up quite a bit. Again, the centering is off. Reggie Jackson, Home Run Leaders. Tom Seaver, ERA Leaders. Two of them. Tom Seaver, Pitching Leaders, with Steve Carlton's also on there. Another Tom Seaver Leader. Frank Robinson. Willie McCovey, 1972. Really nice card. Hank Aaron in action. A little bit of rounding to corners. Um, yeah, I'm no professional, so it's going to be a surprise to me what these come back as. 72, Roberto Clemente in action. It looks like the Roberto Clemente cards have been going off pretty, pretty crazily. Um, Steve Carlton. Next is the 73 Tops. Um, this is a cool card. Babe Ruth, Hank Aaron, Willie Mays. Um, it is in a little bit rougher condition. But as of like a three or four, I think it still has some value. Same year, Raleigh Fingers. Same year, Hank Aaron. Pete Rose. Frank Robinson. Ed Matthews, that's a pretty cool card. This one, I guess there's a difference. There's some where this coach here has his right ear attached and this one where it's not attached. <laughs> Another Carl Yastrzemski. These were cool. These are from 74, I believe. This card was um, uh, Hank Aaron. They did like these... These were all his earlier cards. So there was like a four of them to start the set. Two of them I'm going to have graded. This one. This one. 74 Orlando Cepeda. Brooks Robinson. This is nice Mike. Yes, oh, I'm sorry. Mike Schmidt. This is cool. This is the best card from the 74 top set. This is Dave Winfield's rookie card. When I posted my first video, someone sent me a comment saying, hey, there's a uh, Dave Winfield rookie there. And I was like, yeah, unfortunately, someone wrote on it. And they're like, no, there's another one. And I was like, what are they talking about? And I went through the box, and sure enough, there was one. So this is a great card. If that was like the Gem Mint 10, which it's not, it'd be definitely a five-figure card. Um, here we have 75 with the Mickey Mantle, Hank Aaron. It's pretty cool. 1979, Nolan Ryan. Give it a shot. Uh, 84, Cal Ripken. The prices aren't on these aren't great, but I feel like I need to get that graded. So I'm going to get it graded. This is from my uh, my collection as a child. I remember when my dad bought this card. Jose Canseco, rookie. Um, I'm kind of getting it graded for nostalgia stake, sake. This is interesting. So 1991, Michael Jordan, upper deck baseball rookie card. This card has been blowing up as of late. Uh, PSA 10s of this card are coming in near $1,000 now. We'll see what this one gets graded. At the very top here, it looks like it's not cut right. It's like got a it's slightly like a bump right there. So we'll see what happens. These cards, um, they're from the local 
um, minor league baseball team. It's from 1992. Um, so it's like pre-rookie cards. Pedro Martinez. Gem Mint 10 is like a $60 to $80 card. So we're going to give it a shot. And Mike Piazza. Same thing. Both of them are Hall of Famers. So it's worth getting graded. Next are these 1972 Topps uh, football cards. We have receiving le leaders with Fred Belitnikoff. Let's go Raiders. Uh, Jim Plunkett rookie card. 1974 Joe Namath. 74 Gail Sayers. How cool is that? 74 Terry Bradshaw in action. Uh, Bob Greasy in action. AFC Championship game. Uh, that has... Uh, I believe that's Johnny U right there. So that's why that one has value. Terry Bradshaw. Um, these are the same years? Maybe. 72. This is cool. Joe Green. For whatever reason, this card got graded a lot. So there are a lot of them out there. I just want it graded because it's Mean Joe Green. How cool is it? Again, Johnny Unitas Pro Action. This one seems to be going up in value. Uh, like I said, recently cards have been blowing up. Um, this is Brett Favre, rookie card, 1991. Um, I think it might be worth a couple hundred bucks if it comes back high enough grade. Then we have this Michael Vick 2001, I'm sorry, 2002 uh, Bowman Gold Refractor, second year card, I believe, and it is numbered 43 of 50. Uh, not a huge market for the Vick stuff, but I'm going to try it out. Uh, these are, again, costing me $12 a piece bulk price, um, and I have a hundred and some, 103 of them. Next, we'll go to the 72 basketball cards. Start with Wes Unseld. I just realized I have these kind of out of order now. <laughs> um, Oscar Robertson, a little bit rough shape, but I just want it in the slab. That's Phil Jackson's rookie card. We're hoping for a high grade on that. Uh, I think at a nine, it's going to be a minimum of four figures. Um, but it might be graded a seven, and it might be only worth a couple hundred. But still, it's Phil Jackson's rookie card, greatest basketball coach of all time, so it's worth it. Got Dave Bing, Rick Barry, Walt Frazier. You see there's some wear to that edge, but still, it's so nice. The color, I think the color in the background is really helpful with these cards. Earl the Pearl Monroe, Tiny Nate Archibald. Rick Adelman. I'm getting the coaches graded. Uh, I don't know why, but I am. Uh, Keith Erickson. I don't know anything about Keith Erickson other than he was a Laker. Um, I want to learn more. <laughs> Pat Riley. That's quite a card. Uh, Nate Archibald All-Star card. We got these leaders cards. These leader cards are crazy because of who's on them. So we got scoring average leaders with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Nate Archibald, and John Hevlicek. That's great. We have the field goal percentage with Wilt Chamberlain and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Rebound leaders with Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Wes Unseld. Another Dan Issel. It's a second-year card. Rick Barry, all-star card. You'll notice he's shooting a free throw right there. He would shoot the his free throw's granny shot. And was one of the uh, greatest free throw shooters of all time. Willie Weiss. Not often graded card. So we're going to give it a shot. This is cool. ABA Rebound Leaders 1972. What's significant about this card. Dr. J. That's his rookie year. So it's not. It's kind of a rookie card. Not a rookie card. Uh, isn't valued nearly as much as his rookie card. His rookie card is the best card in this set. Um, I don't have one. But. Uh, we're going to give this one a shot. It's in nice shape. 1979 Kareem Abdul-Jabbar card. I had this in my private collection or my childhood collection. So now it's time to get it graded. Now this Clyde Drexler rookie. Again came from my childhood collection. Um, it's in really nice shape. So we're hoping for a high grade on that. 
Next is this Akeem Elijah one rookie card. Again, from my childhood collection. This was a gift from my dad. This was the first good card I ever owned. Um, I won't be selling this, but I will get it graded. Um, PSA 10s of the Akeem Elijah one rookie card are worth about $15,000 now. Um, but there is some wear and there's a stain right there. So maybe we'll come back a seven or a six, but it's a nostalgia thing. So that's mine. Got the David Robinson rookie card. Um, give it a shot. Shaquille O'Neal rookie year. Second card in the in this set. Slam dunk card. Um, Michael Jordan slam dunk card. These ones, if they get graded, I'm hoping they're going to get graded 10s. And if they're graded 10s, they'll be worth a couple hundred bucks. If they're graded 9s, they'll be worth like 15, 20 bucks. It's a Shaquille O'Neal rookie card. Second one. So this is Michael Jordan Living Legends. It's an insert card. So you pretty much uh, back in the 90s, the inserts were like one out of six packs, one out of 24 packs, one out of 48 packs. I believe this was like a one out of 60 pack. And it, I got Michael Jordan. There's 10 cards in, or six cards in the set. I got the Jordan. So we're going to get them graded. Uh, some of the early inserts of Jordan are going for good, good money. I'll show you a few more later. This is 93-94 Dynamic Dunks. 94-95 Flair Spotlight Shaquille O'Neal. This was like my favorite card when I was a kid. So, again, nostalgia. Going to get it graded. I have a bunch of Jason Kidd rookies. They don't really hold that much value right now. This is the best one I had. So, I figured I'd get it graded. This is the Flair rookie. Kevin Garnett, uh, Fleer Metal, again a rookie card, has a really cool design to it. Um, when you're talking about retired players, you really want the who's who, um, or they're saying the goats, so the greatest of all times. Uh, Kevin Garnett's not quite at that level, but we're talking LeBron, Kobe, Jordan, uh, football, you want Tom Brady, uh, baseball. Uh, whoever's the hot guy, so Mike Trout, rookies are going for a lot. Um, yeah. Next is the Skybox Kevin Garnett rookie. This one's interesting to me. This is uh, Kobe Bryant's rookie year. This was Collector's Choice. That was like the lowest grade card or lowest brand card at the time. I remember the packages were like 99 cents. This one's the gold rookie. Um, Kobe Bryant stuff is worth tons of money now. So this at a 10 is going to be like a three to six hundred dollar card at a nine hopefully a couple hundred got the kobe skybox rookie um there's not too many of these graded so hopefully we get a good grade on that this is the fleer ultra kobe bryant rookie card i can't remember if all the fleer ultras uh, ultras said encore or if that was like the encore rookie not exactly sure very cool card uh, rookie year, Allen Iverson, Scoring Kings. This is another insert card. Um, it was just a really tough card to get. High grades on those are in the hundreds, high hundreds. Again, like we're talking about, goats. So it's fair to say Tim Duncan's the greatest power forward of all time. Um, his cards are of value. So here's a Fleer rookie. Really nice corners. So hoping for the 10. Surprisingly, tops rookie cards. That are graded high have been doing really really well um tops weren't very expensive because you had tops you had tops chrome you had tops bowman tops finest those other ones cost more per pack so the tops packs were cheaper i'm going to get a couple of these tops uh, tim duncan's rookie cards graded if they come back tens uh they're like two to four hundred bucks uh nines maybe 120. so got two there this is tim duncan's uh, stadium club rookie card uh, i don't know how like this is gonna do it looks like the color is off but i can't tell if that's just my eye or if it's the card so check that out this is uh, top's finest tim duncan rookie card still has the coating on it a lot of these cards once i got them they went directly into top loaders as a kid so hopefully they remain in good condition tim duncan z force rookie card this is a Michael Jordan gold label. I believe this was an insert. It has like this refractor thing going on, that color switching. This is like a $15, $20 card raw. 
um, raw meaning not graded. Graded, it can be up to like 200 bucks. This is Kobe Bryant, again, gold label. This one, the difference is the gold label part is black instead of gold. So it's a higher uh, version of it. And then they had ruby, so it would be red. Uh, this card, again, raw is probably like $40, $50. Um, and then graded, we can get into the mid-hundreds if it's graded high enough. Uh, gold, Kevin Garnett, uh, Jam Artist. Again, it has that refractor. People seem to like that, so we're going to give it a shot. Uh, Michael Jordan Higher Power. It was an insert card. Um, there were tons of inserts in the late 90s of Michael Jordan. Um, for whatever reason, this one holds some value. Again, I think it's like a $40 raw card. Um, but graded, it can be significantly more valuable. It's a 2000 Topps Chrome Highlight Reel. Tim Duncan, again, has that refractor feel. This was SP Authentic Floor, uh, Kobe Bryant, um, Jason Kidd. Back in the 2000s, the, I, mean, I guess even to this day, the card companies were going crazy with like patch cards or like cards that had part of the jersey. This one's part of the floor, part of the basketball, all kinds of stuff. So uh, these are only of value because Kobe's on them. Not too many of them are graded, so I figured I'd give it a shot. You got the Kobe Kid and then the Kobe and Shaq. You got to figure they can make tons of these cards because uh, NBA floor is quite large. So whatever. Uh, I had these cards kind of just lying around with my collection from being from my childhood collection. Uh, I was already done collecting cards at this point, but this is a LeBron James second year. If these are graded 10, they'll be worth about 150. So I got LeBron James second card from that. Uh, year and then an upper deck card second year again maybe worth a hundred bucks if it comes back at 10 so let's go through the final 23 our high roller cards all right these are the high rollers these are the ones i'm going to be paying 50 dollars a piece to be graded i just checked the turnaround times uh as of january 31st um 2021 the economic economy submissions so these su submissions are taking six to nine months the regular submissions fifty dollars a piece are taking four to six months my thinking is if i can get these back in four months so june july i'm going to list them immediately there's 23 cards here hopefully i can make that three thousand dollars i spent on grading up in those cards maybe i can do significantly better than that then all those cards become profit um, I'm already in the profit with these cards. Uh, the ones I've had since I was a kid, I'm calling a wash because I had the enjoyment as a child with them. The ones I found on the side of the road, those ones I paid 40 bucks for everything. Uh, I sold all the commons for significantly more than that. So here we go. 1971 Thurman Munson, uh, Topps All-Star Rookie card. This isn't his rookie. I believe it's his second year card. Um, still even graded at like a six, this card's worth a couple hundred bucks. Um, these ones, I'm not a pro. I don't, I don't exactly know, but I'm going to go for it. Uh, graded like seven or an eight. This card creeps up to 600, $800. So we got that one. We have a second one. I have a third one that I'm not going to get graded. We'll go through all that stuff. Maybe I'll do some, some fun stuff. Next is the Carlton Fisk rookie card. This card is super straight. Um, again, the centering is off, but we'll see what it gets graded. Um, am I being dumb by paying 50 bucks to have this graded? Here's the second one, again, in really good shape. This card graded at a 10, which I don't think this is, um, is like $15,000. So um, next is the 1972 Hank Aaron, really nice shape. Um, it's worth about 400 bucks. Uh, I considered these when I did the estimates. I used the PSA website and I was looking at stuff that was graded about a seven. When you start getting to the nine, 10 range, that's where the money's at, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. 1973, Roberto Clemente. Again, very nice condition. This top corner is a little off, so we'll see. 
Here's a collector's choice Kobe Bryant rookie card. Um, high grade. It's worth about 300 bucks. So let's go for it. This card. So this is the 1996 Metal... Uh, Platinum Portraits, Michael Jordan, Raw. That card is worth 500 bucks. Um, you don't see too many of these graded. I am worried there's this little divot. Let me see. Let me pick this up. At the top, I'm afraid that's going to hurt it. We'll see. It's really small, but we'll find out. Um, like I said, Raw, it's 500. Um, the 1997 Metal platinum portraits michael jordan card is a ten thousand dollar card even raw but this is the lesser one still if i can get that graded like a nine i think it's going to be worth a thousand bucks here's another ultra encore kobe bryant rookie card this one i guess i had graded a little bit higher or looks a little bit better um it is not on my list i believe it's like a 350 dollar card here is the Michael Jordan 1996-97 Fleer Ultra Scoring Kings. Tough insert to get. I remember pulling this out of a package, being very excited about it. Um, forever, it was worth like $60. Now it's worth about $200 bucks raw, I think. Um, graded, especially if it's a high grade, we can be talking mid-hundreds to 1000 This is a great um, Michael Jordan insert. It was in the Hoops brand right now. Hoops is making cards that people are buying. But back in the day, Hoops wasn't that great of a brand. But this was a super rare um, insert card. I pulled this out of a package as well. Very excited when I got it. Uh, I think I got the package at Target for like 4 bucks. And um, yeah, right now I think that's like a $150 raw card. It's die cut, so it's not a perfect square. Um, hopefully a 9 or a 10. Again, a few hundreds, maybe up to $1,000. Here's Skybox, uh, Kobe Bryant rookie card. Again, we're looking for that 9, hoping for the 10. The 10's where the money's at. We shall see. Um, all these basketball cards came from my childhood collection. Here is six uh, Kobe Bryant upper deck rookie cards, number 58. Graded a 9, it's worth about $300. Graded a 10, it's worth about $1,000. So I have... I had about like 12 or 13 of them. These ones were the ones that are in the best shape. You'll see those scratches. Those are on the uh, card savers. It's not on the card itself. Um, so yeah, we shall see on those. Hopefully that's $6,000 worth of cards there. Is it? I don't know. Next is this Topps Chrome uh, Tim Duncan rookie card. Uh, this card graded a 10 is significant money. This card even graded a 9 is going to be in the mid to high hun uh, hundreds. So hopefully we got a $1,000 card there. Not too sure. I was really surprised about this card. This is Kobe Bryant's second year Topps Chrome card. Even raw, this card is worth a couple hundred bucks now. Um, graded high, it can easily top $1,000. So we're hoping that we get that 9 or 10 um, I've had that card forever, and it's just a desirable card. So, we'll see. This card, I couldn't find too much on this. This is Tim Duncan. It's his rookie card. Uh, it's an upper deck insert. Home Court Advantage Plus. And this is the Home Court Advantage Plus Gold. Meaning that it has a serial number to 500. This card's not out there. I can't find it. Um, but I'm hoping graded at like a 9, it becomes worth significant money. Hopefully, again, high hundreds to $1,000. We shall see. Next is this Roger Staubach rookie card. Um, a lot of people hit me up when they saw it in the earlier video. Um, I'm going to get it graded uh, even at like a 6 or 7. So I think this is going to be like a 7 or 8. Um it's worth about 600 bucks. If you had this Gem Mint 10, we're talking five figures again. And finally, this Drew Brees card. This actually came with the collection um, that I bought, uh, that I found. Uh, it's his second year card. Uh, this was like the old or the newest card that was in the lot. Second year card, Drew Brees uh, Bowman Chrome. Sorry, just Topps Chrome Refractor. So, again, this one is numbered to 599 
Raw, this card's worth about 300 bucks. Graded a nine, it's worth about 600. So you double your money. We're gonna roll the dice, see how it goes. Um, I feel like if I'm gonna make any mistake, it's gonna be with these cards, paying too much to have them graded. I am paying right around $1,200 to get the 23 cards graded. Um, but like I said, I should have them a few months before I get these ones back. So let's hopefully make our money back there. Um, yeah, I'm okay with it. There you have it. That's what I'm going to send out to PSA. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I'm crazy. Um, if I'm making a bad move, it is a lot of money, $3,000, um, putting that out there. It's a big investment. Um, but I feel really good about it because in essence, I'm living out my childhood dream of having this great collection. I'm going to get them graded. I never thought I would get into that. Um, so if you want to see what happens in the future, it's going to be a while, but uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I do a lot of videos or I was doing a lot of videos on my regular day reselling. I do a lot of vintage clothing, a lot of vintage things, art, other stuff. I've been so pat or so, uh, busy lately I've been having great sales I haven't been able to keep up with the channel like I want to hopefully that uh, balances out a little bit here in the future um, definitely gonna do the video telling you what the cards came back graded as that's gonna be exciting I'll try to do that um, live uh, or at least I won't look to see what the grades are before I tell you about it um, so that's what we have heading forward if you like what you saw give it a thumbs up Oh, my name's Ruben. I'm having a good day. Hoping you're having a good day. Let's talk again soon.